I'm back. Yes. I, I guess you guess if you're interested, I'll make an offer. Okay. If dollars you're off, if dollars you're off, then that's fine. No, I'm just saying if. If I was going to buy this, what price works for you? Because obviously it's not selling for 18.5. I was just saying there's a number works where we don't have to negotiate and it's just a number. I go to my partner and see if this works, yes or no. I go to your partner and make an offer and then we can pick it from there. All right. Whatever works for you. Make me an offer. Okay, Carl. Sounds good. And okay. So if I bought this cash, would this be something you can do within a month? If I bought it cash, I can do it in five days. Like <laughs> and everything. All right. I mean, as long as the title is clear. I mean, heck, would you take twelve thousand for the house? Um, What's up, guys? Zach in here, and in today's video, I want to give you a breakdown of a live cold calling session I had last week, and break down a very successful negotiation of somebody who had a fire damaged property. Now, not every single live cold call I do, I go get a deal or anything, but. For most of them, I at least get a price commitment from a seller and a little bit of negotiations. But really what I wanna do on the Zillow for sale by owner lead replay here is basically show you how I was able to go just in a cold Zillow for sale by owner lead who literally didn't know who I was. And at the end, I was able to almost get 50% off the price of the listing here on just a regular Zillow for sale by owner transaction. Most wholesales overcomplicate the process of actually talking to sellers and getting a property under contract, a price commitment, and the Zillow for sale by owner process. And I promise you, it is not as difficult or stressful as you think. It all comes down to having a conversation, letting them lead about talking the property, hitting them basically with a price. You know, th this seller kind of got me a little bit on the, <laughs> on the spot there where he was like, go talk to your partner and come back to me. And I sort of was like, well, I don't really have a partner per se to deal with the price here because basically I have a cash buyer, but at the end of the day, I'm not gonna go give him the price right now. He's not that trusted. Uh, so basically what I did is I just gave him an offer and it negotiated very well. So this was a fire damaged property uh, house. There was a fire in the kitchen. Literally, I did the spinner wheel, chose Michigan, did a for sale by owner on Zillow. Guess what? Got a property, got a price, and you can do the same exact thing make five, 10, $15,000 on these Zillow for sale by owner transactions. So without further ado, let's get into the conversation. Hello. Hello, hi, is this the owner of 1410 South 17th Street? Yes. Hello, hey, this is Zach. I see your Zillow ad here. Um, I'm calling because I might be interested in buying it. I just had a couple questions. Sure. Yeah, so are you still looking to sell the property? Okay. Well, can you tell me a little bit about the property? I mean, I, I see some stuff here. I uh, just, I have a couple questions about it still because uh, I see it's got listed for a little bit. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So it, it says here there was a fire in the kitchen. I mean, wh what's the story with that? Okay. Are you the owner? Yeah, I'm the owner. Okay. So did this fire happen like when you were living there? Was there somebody in there? No. <laughs> no, I bought it on a tax sale. Ah, okay. Perfect. All right. And I mean, is there a reason why you're selling it? I'm just asking you because... I mean, is this too much work for you? Is there a hidden issue with it? Oh, no. Basically, I, I just buy and sell as is. Oh, okay. Okay. And I'm not too familiar with uh, Saginaw. Uh, is there a redemption period? No, this is a tax fee sale. There's no redemption on a tax fee. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. All right. Some counties are so weird, so that that's just why I'm calling. Um. Okay, we're good. I mean, oh yeah, you're right. But um, yeah, it's a straight tax deed too. So I have the deed. There's no waiting period. Got it. Got it. I, I know there's a some places like Wyoming. It's like a year or something. So just just making sure. Uh. Okay. And and so you're you're just buying it, selling it. Okay. And it it seems like this thing's been listed for a while. I. Did you buy this thing last year? Um, yeah, about last year, October, I think. Yeah. 
Okay. So I saw I got listed for 28,000 and then uh, it's down to 18.5. I mean, is the reason why it's not sold yet? I, I, I'm just asking. Well, I'm, I'm waiting for a buyer. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Okay. Well, I mean, it looks like it needs some work, but I mean, this, this could be something. I mean, it's, if it's salvageable, uh, I could possibly buy it if it's not like a teardown. Um, have you gone by and looked at the property? My handyman has. It's not a teardown. I just need to rehab. Got it. Okay. And there's no code violations, building apartment. It's all still good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Carl. Carl. K-A-R-L. All right, Carl. Well, I'm just looking at this. So I, I, I'll just be honest. If I, I bought this thing. I would probably have to do a full renovation. I, you understand that. Um, what number works if I just buy this thing all cash? Like I can do it within a month. Like what? What works? Well, just make that offer. Okay. Well, would I don't know? Would a dollar work for me buying the house? <laughs> you say a dollar? No, I mean you wouldn't want to sell the property for a dollar, right? Um, that. Yes. I, I guess you get to share interest. You know, make an offer. Okay. If dollars you're off, if dollars you're off, then that's fine. No, I'm just saying if if I was going to buy this, what price works for you? Because obviously it's not selling for eighteen five. I was just saying there's number works where we don't have to negotiate and it's just a number. I go to my partner and see if this works. Yes or no. I go to your partner and make an offer, and then we can take it from there. All right. Whatever works for you. Make that offer. Okay, Carl. Sounds good. And okay. so if I bought this cash, would this be something you can do within a month? If I bought it cash, I can do it in five days. <laughs> Alright. I mean, as long as the title is clear. I mean, heck, would you take twelve thousand for the house? Twelve thousand. Um I would have to think about that. Okay. Are you serious? Or are you just uh, giving a number? I'm serious. I mean, obviously you have to go buy it because ain't like buying a car, I'd have to test drive it. But I think 12000 could work. Uh, sorry, say again? 12000 could work. But again, I'm working with some local partners over there. So I, they would have to go see it. it. The only caveat of this, if it is salvageable, if it's not, I don't want to buy this. But if it is, no, I would, ex- no, I would expect it to buy something that's going to be rehabbed. Yeah, if you know, no termite damage, just you know, the, pretty much the the bare minimum. I want my people to go by there and look at it. But if it's good to go, that, that's my offer. But I'd have to go look at it. I just being upfront with you. But it'd probably be twelve thousand. Okay. All right. Well, if that works, what I can basically do is, uh, do you have any more pictures of the property? No, those are the pictures I have. Unfortunately. Okay. And you don't live locally there? No, no, I don't live there. All right. Uh, does your handyman? <laughs> no, I'm not the handyman. No, no. Do, like, do you have a handyman there that's local or like a? person that could oh, bring access I, to the property? If I have a, hand, if I have a hand man, you said? Yeah, I just somebody where someone on my team can go by and look at it. I just want to lay eyes on it. Oh, oh yeah, sure, they can. Okay, perfect. Just, just let me know and I'll give them access. Okay. Well, what I can do right now is let me go talk to my partner. And what I can basically do is yeah. text you my uh, my some of my more of my information. And there's no more pictures. I probably don't need an email or anything, but I can do is just call you. We can set something up for somebody to go by and look at the property. Does that work? Yeah, that works. Yeah. All right. Perfect, Carl. I appreciate it. Let me go uh, talk to my partner and uh, I'll give you a call back. Okay. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Pretty crazy I was able to get a property locked up for under $13,000 verbally with a seller. 
Uh, it, it just seems such a cheap piece of real estate that it, it's kind of a little rural, but it was still in the areas of where my buyers are. So we're actively still working on this deal right now and pretty fun. Uh, so I'm just letting you know, guys, like when you watch my live streams, I'm calling these people live. I have no idea who's on the other end of this conversation, unlike the gurus who have them all scripted and recorded. Uh, but really what I want to show you exactly how I was able to have a live conversation with the seller and how I successfully negotiated and how you can do the same thing too. Guys, if you got any value out of this video and if you have any questions about cold calling or anything, do me a big favor and smash that like button and subscribe. Comment below and check out freewholesaling.com. That is my free wholesaling course. I'll see you later. Have a blessed one, guys.